Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping well. I have a small haul here from Dollarama and also um, some high-end skincare and makeup from Marshalls and Winners and some not so high-end. Um, anyway, I'll start with uh, Dollarama. And I do like gardening. Uh, I On the front step I put a whole bunch, I must have like 20 pots and I just fill them with flowers in the summertime. And I found these little metal pot hangers and they're little frogs. They're two dollars each. They had about three different colors and uh, this is the orange one. And what you do is you just hook it onto your pot. So just pretend my arm's a pot here. And yeah, you just hook it on and it looks like the little frogs are climbing into the pot or climbing up the pot. Um, so I thought they were really, really cute. They did have a different color. So, um, yeah, just $2 each. I might go, go back and get a, a few more of these. And uh, this is a teacup. And it says, tea tastes better outdoors. And it has a little teapot on the bottom. And it kind of has that enamel kind of look to it. It's metal. And... Then I bought uh, this Lori Nail Polish Touch-Up Pen. I do have something similar like this um, from Sally Hansen. And so it's got a tip. And I never stay inside the lines when I do my nails. I'm, I'm always um, hitting, the, hitting the skin and uh, just leaving a mess. So this one with the tip, you're supposed to just rub the, the nail polish on. Uh, and with the fine little tip there, it gets into those, all those little nooks and crannies. The only thing is, this is completely dried out. Um, I cannot, no matter what I do, I cannot, like I press it, I can't get any of the solution into the tip. Um, there's little cartridge in there. It's just, it's a little bit damp. Um, but yeah, I can't get any solution out. Um, and it does have three applicator refills. So I'm not going to throw it out. I'm just going to dip the tip into my nail polish remover and uh, do it that way because the tip is pretty good. Um, but yeah, I don't know if anyone's tried this before, if it worked for you, but um, yeah, I can't get any solution to come out. Um, but uh, I, I'll still use it though. And then um, at, uh, this is from Winners and or Marshalls. I collected this stuff over the past couple of weeks, so I can't quite remember. Uh, but this, uh, they did have some two-faced two uh, makeup in, and this is the Natural Matte um, Eyeshadow Palette, and it's usually about 45 Canadian, maybe a bit more, I'm not sure, uh, but I did get this for $19.99. They have changed the packaging, so I think that's why this is showing up in the discount stores, because they simply changed the packaging. So it's metallic packaging. It's a very neutral tone. They're all mattes. Uh, I have worn this uh, once and it's uh, definitely pigmented. It blends well. Um, it's just a very, very neutral, neutral color though. So I have to go to another palette if I want to use a shimmer or bring something a little bit brighter or less neutral in it. Um, uh, but they, they are very good shades for transition shades or uh, uh, the crease shade, things like that. So, and I did get some uh, lip products. Um, I did buy the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick, and this is um, usually twenty-eight dollars Canadian uh, retail, and uh, these are on for nine ninety-nine. And I got the color called Craft, which is a um, purplish fuchsia color. And um, these are very comfortable for liquid uh, matte lipstick. Uh, it's, they're not overly drying. They're very comfortable. And uh, yeah, it's a very pretty color. And then I found the uh, Too Faced Melted Chocolate. Uh, liquid. This is a liquid lip, but it's... Um, it doesn't dry down matte though. And um, this color is chocolate cherries. Yeah, chocolate cherries. 
And this is a very, very dark burgundy. Um, I might just have to put it on lightly because um, it, it is quite dark. Um, but yeah, it's a dark burgundy veering towards kind of a brownish shade. And then they had uh, Ciate London, which is high end. And I'm uh, starting to find that at Winners. So I got these two uh, Lip Luster um, High Shine Balm. So Balm with the Brilliance and Shine of a, a Gloss. So I did wear this today and um, it does feel very moisturizing like a balm, but it does have, it is glossy, but it lasts a long time. Longer than just like a straightforward kind of lip gloss. So that's what they look like. Uh, they sell them online for $17 US and I found them for $4.99. And the first color I got um, is called um, Truth and it's just a clear gloss. And then I found this color called Vamp which is a um, dark purple fuchsia color. Um, it, it's a little more sheer when it does go on, but it does give a little more p color payoff. So those are the lip products, and I'm finding Real Techniques brushes and sponges in winners now. And uh, so I found the Real Techniques uh, complexion sponges, and I really do like this brand of the um, beauty sponges. And these were two for $9.99. And I found um, two of these eye brushes uh, for $7.99. And I really like these brushes. Um, this is a nice big fat little one with an angle to it. So it would be really good uh, for putting in the crease shade or um, the transition shade. It's just big and fluffy and soft and this one is just a, like a smaller version so it does it does angle down so yeah I, I really do like the real techniques uh, brushes and it's nice to see them for a, a, a less expensive price in uh, winners and then um, I did get some Ole Hendrickson Ultimate Lift Eye Cream. I did uh, buy some of this uh, a couple weeks ago and I really, really like it. It's very moisturizing, but it doesn't leave an oily film um, or a heavy heaviness to the eye area. It absorbs quite nicely, so that, uh, makeup goes on it quite nicely. This is usually, I think, 54 55 um, Canadian online, and um, this is $9.99 at... Marshalls are winners. And the other Ole Hendrickson product I found was this Facial Water Trio. They're, um, each of them are uh, 60 mils or 2 ounces and it's $12.99. And one is called the Truth Facial Water which is energizing and hydrating. It has a citrus botanical blend, um, Mandarin oil, white tea, pomegranate, uh, the Nurture Me Facial Water soothes in um, hydrates with chamomile, cucumber, provitamin B, etc. And this grease, grease relief facial water purifies and mattifies your complexion. So, yeah, $12.99, uh, two ounces each, I thought was pretty good uh, for um, Ole Hendrickson. And I do love those facial mist um, in the year round basically. Now I did buy this previously and I was hunting everywhere to get another package because I really like this. This is a Japanese brush cleansing trio and they're great for traveling. They're each an ounce um, so you spray this onto your brushes, rub it against a towel, it instantly dries. There's three different scents. There's citrus, coconut, and rose water. I do have similar um, brush cleaners like this, alcohol-based. Um, they have fragrances like lavender or rose, but you can definitely smell the alcohol in them. But these ones dry down, they smell wonderful. Um, they do smell like citrus, coconut, and uh, rose 
They're really, really nice. Um, they clean very well. They smell wonderful, and they clean really good. So these are um, $6 for um, three of them, and like I said, they're an ounce each. So I'm glad I could find those again. And then Estee Lauder. Um, this is uh, White Glove Extreme Skin Brightening Overnight Capsules. There's 21 capsules. I do have something similar to this. Um, it, had, it has 37 capsules in it. This one has 21, um, but I think they're both kind of like vitamin C based. Um, so there's these little capsules inside. And vitamin C um, helps boost collagen production. It helps fade scarring and um, age spots etc. Um, so this one I most likely is around the $50 mark and I got this for $9.99. And then um, I bought this about a year ago and I'm halfway through it and I'm kind of rationing it because I didn't think I'd see it again and luckily it came out again. Um, so I picked up both of the two of these. This is Free Your Main Reviving Spray. So it's, it's kind of like a combination conditioner slash hairspray. So when I wake up in the morning, I basically look like Einstein. My hair is out to here. It's everywhere. I spray this in, just finger comb my hair, and um, it texturizes it. It uh, conditions it. It actually holds its shape all day. It's really great stuff. Now this one, sorry, the writing's really tiny. Um, it reactivates your style or curl pattern without risking the frizziness that plain water creates. It serves as an excellent base for other styling products. Um, it has argan oil in it, pomegranate seed oil, sweet almond oil. It protect, protects, hydrates, nourishes, repairs. Um, yeah, I really, really like this. Um, uh, even with the oils in it and the conditioning properties, it doesn't weigh down my hair. It holds my style. Um, yeah, I really, really like this. I'm so glad I saw it again. Um, so it is by the company Free Your Mane. And it's just called uh, their reviving spray. And then um, I thought because I like that one so much, I got their daily tink teat. <sighs> can't talk. Daily Detangling Conditioner by Free Your Mane. It has that African baobob oil in it, which is in the reviving spray. And this was on clearance for just $3. So I thought that was a very, very good price. I'm um, not a strong smell, but very pleasant. So yeah, um, I'm uh, thinking that uh, if I like that spray as as much as I do, then I'll ho hopefully like this one also. And um, this one, now a lot of people when they go to Winners or Marshalls are looking at for the brand names that they've heard of. Oop, knocking everything down here. Um, but I saw this on the clearance uh, aisle. It was, it's by O2U. And it's um, an eye moisturizer. And it was on clearance for $5. So I thought, hey, you know, worth a try. And actually, I really, really like it. Um, so that's what the bottle looks like. It's made in Latvia. And this has uh, sea buckthorn oil, aloe vera, coconut, chamomile, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E. So really good ingredients. And yeah, I really like it. It absorbs nicely. It leaves my eyes moisturized, kind of tames down the wrinkles for the day. Um, has no alcohol, anything like that. And um, yeah, it's I, I really do like it. So um, yeah, it's, it's just called Buy O2U. And um, yeah, I, I, I like trying out different things um, from different countries and different brands, and you never know what you what you'll uh, end up with. 
and uh, this is a Canadian company. Feels like a facelift. Nat from the Natural and Healthy Company. Um, it's a beauty oil, and it was uh, $9.99, and you get 120 mils or four fluid ounces, so you get quite a bit. And um, what appealed to me is there is so many different oils in here. There is. Uh, just a minute. Okay, again, they make I, my bifocals can't even handle this writing. There's sunflower seed oil, grapefruit seed extract, wheat germ oil, almond oil, calendula, rosehip oil, chamomile, vitamin E, marula, argan, shea. Uh, aloe vera, avocado, orange peel, oil, jojoba. It's just got, it says it has 17 healing and natural essential oils. So I put this on my hands for the past couple of nights. Initially, yes, it is oily, but within five minutes, it's completely absorbed and it doesn't feel oily. It just sinks in, absorbs nicely. Um, I'm going to try this on my face also. Um, you can just pretty well use this everywhere. Um, but yeah, I was surprised how much, how easily it absorbed and left my skin just so smooth. And um, yeah, I'm really quite impressed. So yeah, I just tried it on my hands, but I'm going to try it on my face, on my um, dry little uh, feet. Um, yeah, I have so far so good. I really, really like that. And... Um, uh, also, I always check out the clearance rack on, at these discount stores, and I have tried Renpure products before. I do like their shampoos, and this is an Argan Oil Deep, Deep, Deep Penetrating Reconstructor, and it was on clearance for $4, which is quite an amazing price. I'm not sure how uh, much these go for um, uh, retail or online, um, but, uh, yeah, for $4, that was pretty good. So, yeah, this has argan oil in it. And, um, I, like I said, I tried uh, the one shampoo of theirs, and I really, really liked it. So, um, yeah. And also on the clearance rack was the Neutrogena Ultra Late Cleansing Oil. So I haven't tried this cleansing oil, but Neutrogena products um, I really do like. And this was on clearance for $5. And again, at night, the first thing I do is just put a cleansing oil all over my face and it dissolves all the sunscreen, the um, waterproof mascara, whatever else. It just melts it away. And then if I follow with a cream cleanser. So, um, yeah, I just love my cleansing oils. I cannot um, start my evening routine without using that. And... Um, this is the Macadamia Natural Oil. So I've heard a lot about this, um, their Argan Oil products. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try. Usually this is, oh, I want to say $30 or something Canadian. I'm not sure. Maybe more. Um, but this was like $15, I think it was. And this is a leave-in uh, conditioner um, texture cream. So I actually tried this when my hair was dry just to kind of tame down the frizziness and shape it a bit and it worked really well so I'll have to try this um, uh, after I shampoo and condition I'll put this on as leave-in uh, treatment and see how it works but I've heard really good things about this this company and oh I thought I'd try another eye cream I'm like obsessed with eye creams because um, yeah, my eyes, I got the wrinkles, I got the puffiness, I got the darkness. Um, so this is by Frentkos Aqua Connection Wrinkle Reducing Eye Cream. It's a Korean product. I was going to look online, and I forgot to, but this was um, for $7.99. Um, so this is supposed to, a tightening cream for sagging skin around your eyes, double functions, as a brightener and anti-wrinkle. So yeah, I'm always looking for a nice eye cream. I think mo the majority of eye, eye creams, they when I put them on, they do get rid of the wrinkles th throughout the day. Um, it just smooths them out. Um, so 
any most wrinkle like eye creams do that for me they get rid of the wrinkles basically for the day um, but you know as soon as you wash your face the wrinkles pop up again but um, yeah I thought I'd try this anyhow um, I do love Korean skincare uh, so yes um, I will give that a try oh and one more thing Sorry, I don't know what happened there. The battery's fine, the memory card's fine. It just... Um, okay, so I found this. Um, English Laundry Eau de Perfume. Um, and this is in the scent Oxford Bleu. Bleu. And uh, yeah, this was just... Uh, online, it's anywhere from $75 to $100 US, depending on what site. Um, you're looking on. Um, I did get this for $20 and that's what the bottle looks like and it smells so good. It is just it's just clean and, and fresh and pretty and it lasts a fairly long time and um, yeah it's a beautiful uh, summer scent. Uh, they did have um, maybe four or five different fragrances um, by this English laundry company. But this one, um, yeah, oh, it just, it smells wonderful. It's really nice. Um, so anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, I just love going to Winters and Marshalls and just looking for um, these uh, skincare items. I'm, I'm been very happy with whatever I've gotten there. Um, there's a few hit and misses and that sort of thing, but um, they're just such good prices. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed and uh, everyone take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.